सूर्याय नम ओं सौ सुमाय नम ओं कुं कुजाय नम ओं बुं बुधाय नम ओं गुं गुरव नम ओं शुं शुक्राय नम ओं शं शनाश्वराय नम ओं राम राहव नम ओं कें केतव नम ओं before may i that i am one become multiple so there is specific point of time where the consciousness become homogeneous and there is specific point of times where the conscious expand as a heterogeneous and then contract as a big crush and then expands as a big bang you don't need to call this from purusha prakriti and or big bang and big crush and so but there is this pulse coming to a border of a lot of heterogeneity and homogeneity okay and this is the desire that produced creation in the sense of a uh, matter and energy that is what we call matter and energy and not those that the scientists tell that is black matter and black energy and all those 90% or so of things that are much bigger than what we can observe directly with instruments for the scientists in the group <laughs> so doesn't matter if what we see as universe is 10% or 5% of 25% of the whole matter and energy that is calculated by modern science it seems from the western point of view including there are things that are beyond scientific grasp and as long as universe is manifesting time is bringing this manifestation with its own features with its own dresses and it changes and the dress of today is not of the same of yesterday this is the concept of yoga and so okay so first time in this culture is heterogeneous not homogeneous every batch of time has its own rules these rules are not better or worse than the others but they are allotted to specific periods of time and if we understand this game on this manner we are going to be part of the game and not um, blinded to the game you can say oh this is just bullshit i don't consider anything that is valid okay you can do that but if you if you if you feel that makes sense this theory you can take it a lot of people feel that makes sense you can be part of this family group or religion or philosophy just like any other okay the first thing is time is heterogeneous for the people that uh, like ancient philosophy there is a thing called kairos it is usually translated nowadays as a subjective perception of time and chronos the objective perception of time for example in jyotisha the that thing that we call moon is usually going 13 degrees and 20 minutes of arc each day in the zodiac and after 27 days and something this brings a different year that the moon has crossed just like the sun has takes 365 um, days to do that 
when the moon is going faster this 13 degrees and 20, it reaches up to around 15 degrees a day. We have the sensation in this planet that the time is going fast. The subjective experience of time is related to the speed of the moon around the earth. The objective perception of time is related to the relation of the earth with the sun. Both of them are real, both of them are valid, and both of them are different. Okay? So, including in Western culture, there is the study, there was the study of how should we understand this subject time, so the kairos. But here, there is also another layer of time that brings us to this incarnation. Just a little point here. This incarnation from the Vedic perspective happens like this. There is a big bundle of karmic impressions. From this cabinet, a lot of files, let's put like this, nine folders comes to this incarnation. And these are, um, put together as a thing called a hankara, as ego. And the ego will look to each one of those folders and say, I am this, I am this, I am this. But ego will say, I am this for the folder one in the first karmic period. Ego will say, I am that for the second folder in the second karmic period and so on and a tragic affirmation. When we die, the karmic uh, membrane dissolves. Those folders come back to the cabinet with some changes. And in the next life, maybe none of those folders will create the new incarnation. And a new eye will come from that cabinet. This somehow will be a cousin of you, <laughs> but this will be 0% you considering the past incarnation. I'm not saying that this is what happens every time, but understand the me concept of those nine folders are included in a membrane of ego. And this ego process has the power to make you believe that you are that in that moment of time. What to do?